We're in a very interesting uh, retail day here in Brussels and uh, we've got a pretty good alignment on what is the, the challenge but also therefore the opportunity for retail in Europe. First of all, I think it uh, uh, goes without saying the digital transformation of our business in total. Uh, we talk about omni-channel businesses where uh, uh, bricks and mortar stores go to online and therefore to omni-channel. And we've got online players who go from online, pure play, uh, to bricks and mortar additions and also therefore become omni-channel. We see a lot of brand manufacturers uh, going into direct uh, communication with consumers and also opening brand stores. So also they're, uh, they're making a change to the retail landscape. And at the same time, we as retailers are also selling more and more of our own private label brands. And also there are more into the manufacturing space as well. So it's a very, very interesting uh, environment, uh, the digital transformation, uh, and not uh, without also the disruption of a lot of big platforms, uh, being European platforms or non-European platforms uh, in, the, in the European landscape. Uh, these kind of transformations gives a lot of excitement. I mean, we have opportunities and of course the opportunity from the past is unchanged. How do we make sure that uh, we uh, satisfy customers' needs? How do we make sure that, that communication with customers is even getting better? I think uh, the digital uh, transformation is also giving us a challenge of personalizing our communication with customers. And that's one of those uh, tasks we have uh, going forward. The second thing on digitalization is of course the vast amount of data. What can you do with data, the availability of data? How do we analyze this and how do we make a benefit for all the industry or for uh, the relationship with our customers? And um, data uh, brings a few challenges. Uh, it's, uh, we need people to handle data, so data scientists, and it's not so easy in the European Union to find enough people. By 2020, uh, I think we have 750,000 jobs um, uh, in the data space available for which we do not have people yet. So that's an opportunity and a challenge at the same time. The other thing on data is that we also have uh, the data privacy uh, element. Uh, how do customers get grips on their personal data? There's quite some legislation in Europe with GDPR, uh, this uh, beautiful uh, abbreviation, uh, but also how do we make sure that customers get proper access and consent on their personal data? And that's the thing we really have to work on. And the last thing, not without this, is that um, uh, data is, uh, is also linked to data security and IT security and cyber security. And I think that element is for all of us in retail uh, a quite a big exposure, how to make sure that we operate in a safe environment from a uh, data protection point of view. And the last element I would like to say, data does not mean anonymizing the relationship with customers. It is a people business in retail and data can only support us to become a better retailing in forecasting in our supply chain, a personalized relationship with our customers, more data availability, information for customers, uh, much easier available through online tools. That is a thing on digital transformation. It's only one pocket, but it kept us quite busy today. The second thing is very linked to Europe, of course, is a single market. I think the overall opinion is that we have plenty of uh, regulations and opportunities in Europe to enforce that single market, but it's not working as we uh, plan to have. And that means that uh, talking about uh, protectionism we see here and there coming up, we still see some obstacles to make uh, uh, the single market really properly be enforced and accessible for bigger and smaller companies. And I think we talked about today about that single market as well. And uh, the overall opinion I would summarize is there's plenty of common ground that we have to enforce. We have to also be more courageous, uh, like one of the panelists said, more courageous in sharing with the European Commission what national governments and retailer or supplier associations, what they think about uh, the single market. I think there's, there's an opportunity. And the last thing, a little bit detached from the first two potentially, uh, but I think that's also a big obligation for us in Europe. When we talk about circular economy, when we talk about what we as retailers can do to avoid, uh, to avoid waste, if it's food waste or non-food waste, and if we have waste, how do we recycle this in a proper way? So it's, uh, it's a better destiny than landfill. I think there's an obligation we have. And that is in food waste, that is in REAP, the initiative we, we uh, also follow up, that is in non-food as well. And this is a very much pre-competitive element for all, or for all the supply chain partners, being in customers, consumers, being in retailers and being suppliers, to make sure that we have a better environment in Europe as well.
Yeah, you talk about five years, but if you look at the present developments, I think we are uh, geared up for much, much shorter life cycles. And uh, when I just look, uh, therefore, also in a shorter life cycle, what will uh, dramatically change um, our, uh, our business for retailers and the opportunity we have, then is it linked to the digital transformation? Then is it linked to our communication to customers? What customers have at their hands available? And it's also this personalization of the relationship in itself. Data will enable us to understand customers much better than ever before. Data will enable us to, uh, to serve customers in a more efficient way, if it's online, if it's online, if it's information, giving them more visibility and access to, to information, which is for them important to, to have a better life, to have a healthier life, to know more, know more about nutrition, uh, to know more about how to feed a family, or how to, more know, to know more about what can the community do for me. And I think this is an important thing, that relationship with customers, this personalized relationship with a new set of opportunities we've got. And I think this is for retail an enormous opportunity. Uh, it's not that much different from 100 years ago, because then we also had a very strong relationship. And I think the challenge now is to use the digital uh, area to make a more personalized relationship, where also people and warmth of the physical contact uh, with our folks in retail, in the stores, in the daily contact, in daily communication uh, remains very important as well.